Namaste, simple people of earth. Namaste. Namaste. I am titillated and squirming with life juices and happy, happy, happy to engage you in my new hypno yoga. Repeat after me. <laughs> Whose cell phone is that? Whose cell phone is that? Oh, <laughs> it's mine. Oh, it's, it's mine. mine. Uh, okay, stop that. Okay, okay. stop that. No. Watch my hand. Follow my hands. The third eye sees all, knows all. Oh, but the third eye is so tired. The third eye wants to go to sleep. The third eye is getting very heavy. When I clap my hands, you will fall asleep. No, really. When I clap my hands, you will fall asleep. <laughs> Do not remember the cell phone ringing. Hello? Hello! Yes, your sardiness. Well, of course I can get Brittany Spears. But I wonder if you would not rather, for the same price, have uh, four lookalikes. That way you get more bang for your real, so to speak. Besides, Brittany is so 2010. Can I call you right back? Thank you. Holy monkey, Jack. They're actually asleep. How come it didn't work on me? You are that famous putt-putt golfer man. Yeah, Axel Salmonbelly. The one who banged Chuck's mummy. What, is that on the news? Yes, Pian, very interesting. Perhaps your golfer's powers of focus make you unhypnotizable. And apparently quite the sexual cupcake. <laughs> oh, PTW? My mother lives very far away and is uh, in a committed relationship, so don't get any funny ideas. Okay, so wait. Are you telling me that they won't remember anything? Not even your phone ringing? Watch. Hear my voice. When I clap my hands, you will act like chickens in a farmyard. <laughs> okay, listen to my voice. When I clap my hands, you will wake up and forget all about this. Huh. Uh, did anybody hear the sound of a chicken or a cell phone howling like a monkey? Not I. No. <laughs> I was just yanking on your legs. <laughs> well. The first hour of our session flew by like a blur, did it not? Mm -hmm. oh, one hour, that was like two minutes. <laughs> Just... <coughs> oh, hello again, my indigenous friend. Mr. Ram, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. That whole chicken thing? Wow. Oh, stop. <laughs> I have 18 more three-hour sessions before 3 o'clock. Mr. Ram... Could you do me a big favor? I mean, I know you don't owe me, but you seem like a really nice guy. Go on, unobservant one. The whole sleeping with Chuck's mom thing. Could you do your presto hypno thing and make everyone forget about me and Beatrice? <laughs> you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> especially Chuck, and extra especially Mary. Uh, you have money for such a service? Yeah, I've got 40 bucks. Oh, <laughs> but you know them. Managing manager, is that not correct? Well, it sure is. But all the bar's got is just some check for 88000 from Berlin. <laughs> Dollars? No, that's in Texas. Berlin's in Germany. <laughs> you strike me as just smart enough. I can solve all my problems. Oh, you mean all my problems? Same thing. Now, tell me all about this check. Welcome back, everybody. And good night. It's quite amazing. I cannot seem to penetrate you. Uh, not that I don't appreciate your manly frame, but uh, homie doesn't play for that team. <clears throat> okay, everyone. Listen to my voice. Hear my voice. Obey my voice. 
Oh, toxic bastards. I just miss the young and the restless. Oh, damn you all. Okay, repeat after me. Axel never, ever slept with Beatrice, a.k.a. Chuck's mom. Axel never, ever slept with Beatrice, a.k.a. Chuck's mom. Your mom? My mom? Axel never slept with your mom. My mom. It is done. Mr. Ram, I can't thank you enough. Oh. Yes, I do believe you can. <laughs> oh, right, right, yeah. I'll go check on that right now. <laughs> For such a brainless Wally, he's, he's quite a nice man. I think I'll give him a bonus before he goes to prison. <clears throat> you are very fond of Axel. And you will have the sex with him. I will have, have sex, sex with, with him. him. Not you. I. In fact, it will be the best sex of your life. That wouldn't be hard. Oh. oh, damn my soap. OK, everybody. You are now the cast of The Young and the Restless. And action. <laughs> What were we thinking? I didn't know when I married Mary Beth, your sister, that I was in love with you. I didn't know that your sister, my wife, was a pre-op tranny. Well, I didn't see that one coming. Just scratch health nuts off the check. And... Great session this morning, huh? Tell me. I'm feeling so relaxed, but I don't really remember much. Something else. Don't tell anyone, but um, I'm finding myself super attracted to Axel. Really? Especially since mm -hmm. Axel, Axel never ever, ever slept with Beatrice, Beatrice a.k.a. Chuck's mom. Hey, everybody. Hey, boss. Hey, Axel. <laughs> You. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so um, I saw Chuck's mom yesterday. She looked a little um, uptight. I wonder when's the last time she had sex? Mm. Probably not in years. <laughs> Boy, that Axel sure is a great guy. And I bet he's never ever slept with Beatrice, aka my mom. Sure wouldn't. I don't know. I was just wondering what you're up to tomorrow night. Why, you need something? I was wondering if I could come over to your RV and we could do it until the wheels explode. <sighs> so let me get this straight. You had sex with Walter because you were so horny for Axel. Who never, never ever, ever slept, slept with Beatrice, Beatrice a.k.a. Chuck's mom. Oh, I can't explain it. It was like I was under a spell. And today you'll be in the woods with both guys at the same time. Hmm. Unless Buckles accidentally shoots one of them. Talk hmm. about awkward. Yeah. I wish I had another night to sleep on it. Which Axel didn't do with Beatrice, a.k.a. Chuck's mom. <sighs> Walter just proposed to me. He wants me to move to Germany with a castle, a stream, and a windmill. Mary, that's so exciting. I'd love to get married to an exotic European, hmm. as long as he never touched me. So weird. I was getting such strong feelings for Axel. Who never, ever slept with Beatrice, a.k.a. Chuck's mom. And then it's Walter who just goes and proposes. Big decision. What are you going to do? 